Explosive, and I'll be teaching MSC 220 this term, and I'm really excited about it. We're going to be teaching this class without any lectures, we're going to be teaching without giving exams, and we're not going to grade homework. And while that might sound easy, you're actually going to work pretty hard, but you're going to really love it. You're going to have fun working. I'm hoping that by the end of the term, you're going to even say that doing homework is fun. Now this might sound like it's a flipped teaching class, and I don't like calling it that because I'm not going to make you watch videos at home of me lecturing. That would be incredibly boring. It might even sound like this. Finally, we have our microscopic parameters, and if you're not totally bored by now, something's probably wrong with you because this just is not a very good way to provide information to somebody. We can go through, I can do examples, I can bore you more and more and more. It's much easier to just read the book. Instead, we're going to do something kind of old-fashioned. You're going to read the book to learn the information. That's going to be your primary mechanism for us transferring information to you. You're going to read the book. The other thing that we're going to do that's very old-fashioned, we're not going to do the homework in class. You're going to do it at home because it's called homework. And it's going to be hard homework. And I want you to try really hard to do the best you can. But what's different is if you can't do it, no big deal. We just want you to try. Eventually, we're going to show you how to do it, or rather, you're going to show each other how to do it when you come into class and share with your, uh, with your group. Instead, we're going to grade your reflections. So again, primary method of information transfer is through the book reading. We're going to make sure you read it carefully and critically because we're going to use this crowdsourced reading approach called nb.mit.edu. The gotcha there is you have to buy the book through Wiley. I've sent out lots of email. Hopefully all of you are buying the book. It's a lot cheaper than buying it off the shelf or even buying it from Amazon, and you get to keep a copy of the book forever. So you'll read the book on mb.mit.edu. I just sent you a note uh, giving you the information how to subscribe to that, and the first two reading assignments are up there. So go ahead, go at it, try making some annotations. Certainly try to do the first uh, reading assignment, uh, which is actually due on Thursday the, uh, uh, the 5th, and just try to do it in time for Tuesday. We're not going to grade that one too difficultly, so it's okay. You, you can make mistakes. It won't be held against you. But just give it a shot. You need to click on that link I gave you. Then you need to go and make an account, a password. Then every time you just go to either mb.mit.edu or you can do it right through the Ctool site. Our Ctool site is pretty cool. We've got links to NB. We've got links to Learning Catalytics. I have links to the website that describes the whole course and even has videos of Professor Eric Mazur at Harvard who really inspired this whole approach. And he's been a good friend of mine for a long time. You can hear him talk about the pedagogical reasons why this is a good thing to do. It's based on 30 years of research. Anyway, um, get in there, take a look at that website, um, buy the book. Try out Learning Catalytics. That will go live, I think, on Wednesday, the 28th or 29th, somewhere around there. You'll get an email from me. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop me a line. I'd be happy to help you. Uh, we've got a lot of people helping us this term. We have two great GSIs. I just hired two instructional aides. These are both SAM juniors who just took the course last year. They're going to be there every day in class to help the GSIs and myself. And we have a whole bunch of graders that are going to help us with grading the um, annotations on NB and your reflections. That's pretty much uh, all the grading that they'll be doing. Uh, and then we have one other cool part that we've never done in MSC 220, and that's we've added projects to this course. Projects are really cool. There are going to be three of them. You'll be teamed with different teams each third of the class, and we're providing an hour at the end of each class. So it really should be a three hour class, but it's two hours plus this quasi optional third hour, which I really expect you to stay for because that's when you can meet with your team. The whole course is designed to actually make your lives easier. Yes, you have to read at home. Yes, you have to do homework at home, but that's it. There's no more work to be done at home. 
all, there's no exams. You don't have to study for them. The only thing that we're having are these little quizzes called readiness assurance assessments that are every other week, but those don't require studying at home because we're gonna make sure that we prepare you to do well in those as long as you take the course seriously and really work with your groups to understand all the problems we do in class. So that's it. That's what the course is. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I will see you on next on uh, Tuesday the 3rd. And this is going to be great. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Bye.